hello guys this is iOS nemesis and welcome to another video in this video we are going to talk about how to change serial number of your device uh, most of you have been complaining to me that hey I tried generating activation ticket with group from disk and then it doesn't work it says I should, I should change serial number and blah 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 yes this occurs because your device the server cannot generate a valid activation ticket for your device hence you cannot activate your device so I, I created or I added the serial number changer just to help you bypass your device regardless the, the, the phone that you you're trying to bypass and then changing your serial number is relatively easy but uh, a note here please make sure that you have saved your original serial number somewhere before proceeding with this proceeding with changing your serial number because if you lose it it might be hard to get it the original serial number back okay so without further ado let's start the video so I have an iPhone 7 here and uh, which is on activation lock, lock screen I will use this and then we are all going to learn how to change the serial number of this device I have the original serial number saved on my desktop in this file here yeah, it is saved here inside the file so I have connected my device you see I have an iPhone 7 here in DFU mode so let's go to program disk and then click on check device okay so first of all you might want to go to options and check serial number and then back then click on check device you know that even though our device is connected but it says that hey there is no device connected yes this is because when you come here we can see our Apple device under lib USB key which is not supported by program this and many other tools so all you have to do is you have to uninstall this go to yes uninstall then after that I click on this uh, magnifier and the computer and it should connect your device again see it is connected again and then we are not going to get this issue so click on check device and boom we can see that um, we have we, our device has been connected so I will quickly connect to the internet again Pardon me, my my computer is, is very slow. So yes, we I've already registered my serial number. So if you've not registered, just click on this, then click on register here. It should open the page where you're going to register. Just put your serial number inside and click on register, and then it should register your device. And after registration, you can go back here and then click on start. So before you, you start booting your device into purple mode, make sure you download your boot RAM disk from here. Yes, I've already downloaded mine and it's it's in RAM. Then after download, put it in the purple folder. Put it here. I have mine here. So if you, you have... So if you put it inside a purple folder, please do not extract it. Don't ask for an extraction key because the, the tool doesn't need you to extract it. The tool will do that itself and then make sure that your driver is under universal serial bus controllers. If it is not uninstall the previous driver, click on this magnifying icon, scan for hardware changes and it should bring you here. If it doesn't work, go to toolbox then on install drivers and then that is also going to work so with so let's since our device is in con DFU mode we fix the drivers we registered our ECID let's click on boot purple Yeah, good thing our driver is still intact so if it changes it seems it means you're not going to get um, 
good. We've successfully connected to the purple mode. Yes, I can. My device is in purple mode. One 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 person asked me why is my device green when it says purple mode? It doesn't matter if it says successfully booted in purple mode. That is it. Whether your device is green, red, blue, whatever it is, just leave it like that. So let's click on next and then to start just click on refresh when you click on refresh you're going to get all these uh, ports com ports so but our, our device is here make sure that your device once you boot into purple mode your device is under ports so to to send our device into the port just click on update update driver then go to click here then make sure you select USB serial device. USB serial device done. So now it will refresh. It will it will refresh. Yes. Now once, once you see that, you can see that our device is COM five. Our device is COM five. Now go to program this. If you don't see your COM here click on refresh click on refresh here and then it should show the com5 yes this is the easy the, the serial number we are going to uh, change to this is the serial number we are going to change our device's serial number to. let me quickly copy it and show you that this is another serial number of a, of a device so let's go to i3 iCloud website then check this Okay, let's quickly do the capture and then verify. So now it's going to check. You can see that our device is iPhone 4S, but we are. I, we, you can see the serial number is iPhone 4S. Yes. Okay. So now let's go to our uh, our our program disk. Since we've selected the correct port. And then this is our serial number we want to change to. You can you can change to anything you want to buy. I only advise that just change it to the serial number you want to change to. So then click click on write. It will ask you are you sure you want to change the serial number? If you want to just click yes. If not click on no. Yes, I want to change it. So click on yes. So it has successfully written the serial number. Note the serial number here. And then if the device is going to reboot, we are going to compare this serial number to the serial number that's three tools will show us okay so our device has now booted and then um, it should reconnect it should connect, yeah it should, it should reconnect to the computer right now no way for me to wait, wait for it to connect to the computer. And then good, you can see that our serial number has successfully been changed. Yes, our serial number has changed. You can copy it right from 3 and this is the proof that the serial number has been changed. You can check it again on on this website, and then you're going to get the same thing iPhone 4s, although our iPhone is iPhone 7 GSM. So that is how you change your serial number to um, a different serial number. Uh, please use this to very cautiously because your device can get bricked you can lose your activation forever and stuff so please make sure that you use this um, <coughs> use this tool very cautiously and thank you for watching the video and make sure you subscribe like and then join the telegram channel because most of you are having issues registering your device and blah 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 yes our web our website website was taken down by the host 
I, I seen that a lot of pe some people or a person is reporting uh, websites that it 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 sells malicious too and stuff, and then it's it's an illegal website, and we we've been blocked twice. So this is our third um our third uh, website here. So if you want to register advice, make sure that you use this this address and make sure that you're using the latest um you're using the latest version of the tool now the latest version is um two point i believe two point three point one make sure that that is the one you're using or higher than that you're using that or higher thank you and goodbye see you next time